Hi kindergartners, Miss Harding here. We are sitting out in the great outdoors on my deck so we can talk some science today. In science, we are going to be learning about natural and man-made resources. What does a resource mean? Think in your thinking brain. Do you know what a resource is? A resource is something that we use to be able to live our life from day to day. So think for a second, what are some of the things that you do every day that you need something to help you do that? Think in your thinking brain. So we have two different kinds of resources. We have some that are natural and some that are man-made. Natural are the resources that we use every day that help us that are from the environment. The environment is also our nature. So the things that are coming from the ground, the sky, and the air are natural resources. The other type of resource are man-made resources. These are the resources that people make using materials from our natural resources that help us with things on a day-to-day -day basis. So if we look over here on our natural resources list, we have lots of cool natural resources that our earth provides us with every single day. We have three that we need to have in order to survive. Can you think about three things that your body needs every day in order to stay healthy? Did you say air? Because we need air every single day. We breathe it in our lungs. The trees need the air. We need oxygen for most things that we that are growing and that are alive. What about the sun? Do you see the sun there? We need the sun and the sunlight to be able to help our bodies get the vitamins it needs as well as to help all of the trees and all of the other natural resources grow. And then we have water. We need water to survive. Without the air, without the sun, and without water, the three big natural resources, we wouldn't be able to do most things in our lives. Other natural resources that we have are land, plants and trees, animals, minerals, oils, and also natural gas. So those are all of our natural resources. Then we have our man-made resources. These are all those things I was telling you that we use every day, but they don't come from nature. You can't just go out into the woods and find one of these resources. Things like cars, computers, phones, clothing, clocks, tables and chairs, your homes, cups and light bulbs are all different types of resources that you can't find when you're just out in nature and in the environment. So, the most important thing that you need to know is how do you know the difference between a natural resource and a man-made resource? Think in your thinking brain for a second. I'm going to give you a resource and you tell me, is it natural? Can you find it out in nature and in the environment? Or is it man-made? Is it something that people have made so we can use it? Think in your thinking brain. Here it comes. A tree. Are trees natural or man-made? Did you say natural? Great job. How about a train? A train. Think in your thinking brain. Is a train natural? Do you just find them? Or did someone have to make that to be able to have it as a resource? So trains, what did you say? Did you say man-made? If you did, great job. One more before we go. What about corn? Corn is something that grows in the ground and it grows up and it needs air and it needs other natural resources, but is it a natural resource or a man-made resource? Did you say natural? I hope you did because it sure is a natural resource. So keep thinking in your thinking brain. When you are on a walk today, go look and see. Is what you see in front of you natural or is it man-made? Is it something that you use that you can find in nature? Or is it something that people had to make in order to be able to use it? Have a great day, kindergartners. Bye now.